Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Brie. Today is going to be another reading vlog, but it's going to be more of a cozy reading vlog. If you have seen on my Instagram, I have been posting that I'm doing a horror reading vlog and that is still in the works, but I've read, let's see, I've read four horror books so far and I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed. Like I, I really like horror, but I think consuming that many at one time it's been a lot for me because I am a little bit of a scaredy cat. So I thought, you know, there's a couple cozy books I would really like to get to. So I thought I would take this weekend to do kind of a cozy reading vlog that'll come out first and then that'll give me a little break from reading horror. So I have two that I'm super excited about. The first one I wanna read is The X-Hex by Erin Sterling. And this came out last year and I wanted to read it last year but never did but it's about a woman who placed a hex on her ex back in the day and then now it's present day and I think they have to reverse the hex because some things are going down in their town that is related to this hex and I think it's like a second chance romance. I'm not a big romance reader but I think if I was to get into any kind of romance it'd be this something like this so I'm really excited and I've heard good things about this and I think that Erin Sterling came out with another one so if I like that this one I can always go and read more from her. And then I'm going to be reading my 100th book this year, which I've never got to 100 in the times that I've been tracking my reading. I don't know if I did when I was younger. I want this to be my 100th book. And that is The Very Se Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana because I just truly believe that I'm gonna love this book. This is about a witch who makes videos on YouTube and she doesn't really want anyone to actually know she's a witch. She doesn't think people will take it seriously. But then someone contacts her asking her to teach these three girls at this school about their powers. And then I think there there's also a romance in here with a grumpy librarian and I've heard House in the Australian Sea vibes. So I'm super excited for that. So these are the two books I hope to get to. I want to make this my hundredth book. So I'm going to first get to this one, then this one. And I have two days, which I don't have anything planned. So I'm just going to pack it with reading. But I thought we'd do some other cozy things like go to the bookstore. And I also got apples last weekend from an apple farm and I want to make an apple pie as well. So I just thought we could have a fun, cozy autumn weekend. The leaves are changing, so I was thinking we could also go on a walk because I haven't gone on a fall walk, and those are my favorite time of the year to go on a walk because I love the changing leaves. So we're gonna read and do some cozy things, and I hope you enjoy, and I can't wait to take you along. Call me a tiger, call me out, why don't you laugh? Lift me up higher, above the clouds, won't you love? When the scenery is right, go right in. I want to fall deep within Don't leave me hanging Just cause I'm too proud Whisper away My outdated doubts Somebody do me the courtesy Dress me down I'm not that old yet I'm Friday young to not stand my ground But my ways are mine and I don't want to change Not even for love Now take back all them hard words I'm a grown woman With confidence and sense in the middle. So we went to the bookstore and it was a lot of fun. And now I'm going to sit here and read the X-Hex. But I got four books that I want to show you and I'm really excited about them. So the first one I got was um, a Jennifer McMahon, The Drowning Kind, because I recently read The Children on the Hill, which you'll see in the horror reading book coming up, and I really enjoyed it. And so I want to give more of her books a try. And so I found this one, and I've heard good things about this one. I also have The Winter People, but I saw this one and I couldn't pass it up. So I got that, and I have no idea what it's about, but 
I'm excited. In a recent video I did things I love in books, I was trying to get some recommendations for books I should read based on things I like and this is one of the books that Jane, she recommended because of Finley Donovan is killing it and that's Grace Grave Reservations by Sherry Priest and I think that this is about a woman who's like a psychic and she tells this police officer somehow she gets him to not go on a flight that he was going to go on and then the next day the flight like went down or something so he kind of puts together that she knew something was going to happen with the plane and then he asked her to help investigate some murders that are going on. I saw it and I picked it up because I want to read some of those recommendations. And then this is one that I'm not sure I will like but everyone really has good reviews on it and I do like Greek retellings but I just I just am hesitant on it and that's Circe by Madeline Miller. I saw this there and I thought I would give it a go because I do want some more fantasy uh, magical elements to my stories as well and I do like Greek mythology. What are you doing sugar? And so I saw this one there and it's just a retelling of Circe and I think that I tend to like the retellings where it's like the woman's story retold um, because a lot of times the woman's story in the classic literature is not explored very much you just tend to get the male's side of things and so I'm really interested to read this and I just hope I like it I hope it's for me you're not allowed to eat that baby and the last book that I got is erotic stories for Punjabi widows I decided to pick it up because I do want to expand my horizons on more like literary fiction I don't think all of it's for me but this one seems like one that I would love to try and just see if I could get more into stories like this and I don't know too much about it other than it's this woman who's teaching, supposed to be teaching uh, Sikh widows how to learn English. And then I think it turns into this like bigger thing where they start writing stories and kind of have a community in this classroom. And they, um, I think, are discussing like a book of erotica and different things like that, which are things like they just to make them feel more empowered and become like friends and a community in this area. And yeah, I think it sounded like it was going to be fun, but also kind of hard hitting. And I'm just excited to see what I think about it. So those are the four books I got. I think it was a good book shopping day and I had a coupon. So, you know, got to get that discount. <laughs> so I am doing some laundry, but I thought I would talk to you about the xx because i'm 100 pages into it and i'm really liking it i feel like it's um perfect kind of romance for me to start into because it's got like the witchy vibes which i find really fun and it gives something of interest than just the romance which i think that's what tends to like turn me away from romance is that i tend to want just like more story with the romance or something else on top of it um, cause I don't mind romance in books. I just don't love it just on its own. And then I think that the two main characters, so it's perspective of Rice, Rice, and he is, um, a witch and he's the one who was hexed. And then there's, um, why can't I remember her name? Oh, Vivian and Vivi and she... Is the one who hexed him and he's like come back to her small town because every 20 years they have to like redo these like magical lines that are keeping the magic running in this town and his family's the family like that started it so there's that and it's already been like pretty ridiculous um i feel like we're getting into like the main part of the hex part and them trying to figure out like what to do and i just think it's really fun um it's the wrong one and yeah i'm liking the chemistry between them and i think it's funny there's been lines that make me laugh out loud so that's been good and i just feel like it's been a good light-hearted read something that i just needed in between the horror books so i definitely can see myself finishing it today if not tomorrow morning because there's a hockey game on later and i will watch that with noah and i usually tend to read while we're watching so I feel like I could finish it I think it's like just a fun light-hearted romance that has fantasy elements into it in it so I'm having a good time and it feels very autumnal it's set in October and it definitely feels like 
fall and that's also a reason I'm loving it because it's like I just wanted a fall feeling book. <laughs> I gotta show you this. He <laughs> he's just wanting um, the belly rubs right now. So I think the plan for the rest of the night is just to chill and read and then I think tomorrow I want to go on the fall walk and also bake the pie because I need to make the crust in the morning and then let it chill for a little and then I can bake the pie later in the day. So the rest of the night I think it's just going to be like curling up and reading and we're We've been really good about cooking at home, so we're going to order something this weekend. For, we're going to order Thai today, actually. Um, so, I think that's the plan. But I will check back in later when I've read more, so I can give you more thoughts. But so far, so good. And all my worries I prepare for something new Whatever it was that held me back I'm sure it wasn't true Holding on too long and unresolved questions holds you down What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown I'm moving on car the road is long and full of dust the landscape changes around me on and on i feel i must whatever happened to me happened for my highest good i read that in so many books now it's almost understood i'm moving on finished the x hex loved it i think i'm gonna give it four stars i think it was just like the perfect book for right now it was like perfectly witchy the romance was really good i really liked the chemistry between the two characters and also just how their relationship just progressed i just feel like it was like a good second chance romance i think sometimes um what turns me off from romance is that I often see like things that feel problematic or just like communication errors and I just felt like this was more up my alley of like what I would like if I was reading a romance um and so I really enjoyed that and I really liked how much the magic was a part of the story as much as the romance and like getting rid of the curse so it like, gave something to look forward to and I really liked the ending it was really sweet there was a lot of moments where I was laughing out loud and I just thought overall it was really good. So perfect cozy book to start this reading vlog. And now I'm going to be reading my hundredth book of the year, which I'm so excited for, The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Vandana. I feel like this is built so much in my head. Like I'm so excited for it. So I hope it lives up to my expectations, but I'm also going to try to go into it with an open mind so that hopefully it is five stars because I just want it to be so bad. But before that, I think I'm going to make the pie crust for the pie. We're going to go on a walk and then I'm going to start this book just so I can get a little break in between them. <laughs> Bye. 
by the sea At the edge of the water The common ways Kiss my to give a little update because I made it to page 100 in the Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches and so far I'm really enjoying it. I feel like it, I definitely see where it's giving the House in the Cerulean Sea vibes. Um, I wouldn't say it's exactly as whimsical. It feels a little closer to more real life because it's set in real life and then witches just aren't uh, known about whereas in the house in the cerulean sea it's more of like a magical world so it doesn't feel as whimsical necessarily but i'm still really enjoying it and i feel like the dynamics are cute and quirky kind of like the house in the cerulean sea so i definitely see where it's picking up on that i feel like because i'm comparing it to the house in the cerulean sea it's like not living exactly up to that in my mind so i'm trying to kind of disconnect the two because I think overall I'm having a really good time with it. So I'm just going to go into it with lesser expectations so that hopefully I can really enjoy it because I could see it being a five star. But if I keep thinking, will it be House of the Shirley then it might not be. There's definitely like a grumpy sunshine romance, which I'm always a fan of, especially if it's in a very like cute and um, genuine way instead of a problematic way from my last clips talking about the ex hex I don't like problematic relationships and this doesn't feel like that it just more feels like learning to trust the other person I I really like the way that magic is portrayed in here because it's kind of like loose magic it's like very um Sabrina the teenage witch feeling almost to me and I really like it I think it's like a fun way to look at magic and not have it have too many rules like it's still kind of ambiguous which I like I think that she just got to the house and so we haven't really gotten to like any of the issues that might arise. She is asked to come to this house 
because they have a solicitor coming who is like really mean and they're worried that he's gonna figure out the kids have magic and take them away or like get them taken away. So she's trying to help them learn to control their magic before he comes. And so I think that's gonna be like the main issue, but I am not sure like what other little things will come up as it goes on. And I just feel like this is a perfect fall book. And if you're looking for like a cozy, cute vibes, like the House on the Shell Lancy, but don't expect it to be just like that, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm having a good time. I will not be finishing this today, but I will check back in later when I have finished it because I want to um, finish this book in this reading vlog. So I will let you know more thoughts when I have them. But so far, loving it. Having a good time. So I wanted to wrap this video up. I ended up finishing The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sungu Mandana. I think I'm going to give it like four, four and a half stars. I really liked the concept and I liked a lot of the book, but I think that it was a little more romance focused than like found family and cozy fantasy focused. I think too, it being placed more in like the real world than in like a fantasy world. I just think I was hoping for something a little more for me to like escape into. I just didn't quite get that from this, but I still really liked it. And I think if you like House in the Sterling Sea, I think this could be a good like comparison. But also if you just like a witchy story and a cozy like story, I think that this could also be it. And especially if you are kind of more of a romance reader or you enjoy romance in your books, that I think that this is a good one. I just think that for me as a reader, I tend to not want as much romance in my stories. And this one just felt more romance heavy than found family. And that's not really what I was going into this book looking for. If I had known it was more romance going in and was wanting that, I think it could have been a higher rating for me. But overall, I think it was really good. And I will pick up anything she comes out with if it's like a cozy like this, because I do really enjoy the cozy atmosphere of it, of it all. And if she came out with a sequel or something, I would definitely pick it up. Other critique is I wanted more time with her teaching the kids how to use magic and things like that. And there was some of it. Again, the romance took more center stage. I kept wanting to get back to other parts of the story and I enjoyed the romance, but I just wanted to see more of the other parts more than the romance. So I ended up reading these two cozy books and it was a perfect time because I just needed something cozy and light for this spooky season. I tend to prioritize the kind of darker books and these were just so perfect to remind me of the cozy parts of fall. I will definitely be picking up more from both of these authors. I actually ordered the Kiss Curse from Pango and so that's gonna be coming soon because I just have to read the next one because I really enjoyed it and then if she ever comes out with more I would definitely be picking it up. So yeah so those are the two books and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you've been having a good cozy season fall autumn. If you're in a different country and it's not fall or autumn I just hope you're having good months but yeah um, I will see you next time.